Hello everyone, Tozen MC here. So today I'm going to be showing all of you guys how to install shader packs into Minecraft any version. So first off, you need to have Optifine installed and I already have a video showing you guys how to do this. So once you have Optifine installed and you have this version right here called Optifine, you what you need to do now is download your shader pack. I'll have the link to one that I'm using in this video, which I highly recommend. It is amazing. It has different options, so if your computer is not good, you could use the light version, which I use. If you have a really good computer, you could use the ultra version. Okay, so once you have your shader pack, what you want to do is go here and click downloads. If you guys don't have the downloads folder there, you just want to open up your file explorer and click downloads under this PC. So what you want to do is right click your texture pack, click copy, and you can close this out, or you could also cut it, but I recommend copying it. So I'm go, what you want to do is go to percent, app data percent, this file folder right here, and when you're here, you want to click on .minecraft. Now, what you want to do is click shader packs, and if you guys don't have this folder, you guys could just create a new one, right click new, um, Right click new folder and just name it shader packs like this. But if you guys have Optifine, you should have it. And you want to just paste your text pack like that in here. So now that I have your shader pack, I keep saying text pack, I mean shader pack. You can just open up Minecraft. And this might take a while, so I'll skip to when it's loaded. Okay, so now that Minecraft is loaded, um, it's really easy from here. So what I'm going to do is click options video settings and performance and you want to make sure fast render is set to off okay so then you want to go to your shaders and i think i accidentally i i, I just like this one because I, I started in full screen but my screen caption doesn't record in full screen so yeah, here's a shader pack that you just put in here so you want to do is click on it that's all i have to do nothing like complicated and now it's in here okay so now i'm going to be going over all of this stuff so anti aliasing um it doesn't make that much of a difference i'm pretty sure like makes the screen look a bit nicer i don't use it because it does slow down your computer a lot but if you guys have a good computer just turn it on to the highest and then this has to do with the map and this is the lighting i don't really see a difference with this stuff but i don't know maybe i wasn't looking close enough because now for the render quality shadow quality and hand depth so render quality is how the blocks look and do not have this on 0.5 even if your computer is terrible do not have it on 0.5 just have it on at least one it will make your game look so bad there's no reason to have a series if you're gonna have it on 0.5 just have it on at least one you can have it on two if you want to look a lot nicer but it's not down to a difference just keep it around one or 1.5 okay so then the sound quality this is how nice the sounds look it really depends on your shader pack if you use a light one like this you won't see down to a difference between 0.5 and 2, but if you, if you use a really nice shader pack, you will see a difference. I just keep this on 1.5. Okay, so now for hand depth, I, I honestly didn't see a difference between any of this. I think it has to do like with your hand being different from your sleeve, something I do not know. Because I know how to add a sleeve, something, but I, I honestly did not see a difference, so I just keep it on 0.5 or 1. Like this. Okay, so now I'm gonna go show all of you guys the shader pack, so. Let's launch this world, which is where I test all my texture packs and a real world to train. But now we need a shader pack to test it. Okay, so. Okay, but yeah. I'm, I'll, I'm, it's running speed. I don't know how it looks on the screen recorder. But it, this is run so fast, especially if you like uh, make your Optifine be good. And I'm going to show you guys a video on how to make Optif make one faster with Optifine as well. But yeah, if you do all that and install shader packs like I did. It looks it looks so nice and runs so fast. There's honestly no reason to not do it. Like, just look at this, and you could like walk around like with holding different items, and as you can see, my sow is also holding it and everything. It's honestly really nice. And if you guys have a good computer, yeah, go go ahead for a nicer shader pack. I just don't have that good of a computer, so I just use this. But it still runs really fast, so. Yeah, there's no reason not to do it, so you guys should definitely download this if you like Minecraft and want your game to look nicer. Just sometimes I recommend if you like doing something like PvP, don't have it because it's kind of distracting. But other than that, it's really nice. So yeah guys, if you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you out, 
please smash the like on it and um subscribe for more videos i make tons of different videos and also check out my video on how to install optifine which is going to be in the description like i said and check out this shader pack because it's really nice also link for that is also going to be in the description so guys that's all i have to say for this video and i'm going to close off right now thanks for watching